It's your boy. All right. It's good. your boy, Deshaun. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good morning. whatever. Keep what going. up, fam, bam? What up, fam, bro? Oh it's your boy, Deshaun. Go ahead. All right, what's up, fam, bam? It's your boy, Deshaun. And we back with another video. And we, I'm, we're installing my sister's car seat. Forever Extend to Fit. What's the brand? A uh, Graco. Okay. And then my dad is going to install it, and then I'm just going to sit there and watch him do it. Jeez. What up, fam? It's your boy Sean, and this is another video. Oh, f back with another video. Boom. Boom. You got enough to fight. What up fam, it's your boy Sean and welcome to another video with The Whiting Affair. Today, we're going to be doing an install of the car seat for our daughter who's going to be born tomorrow. And, it's right behind me, if you can see it, it's a beast, a tank of a car seat. Here's the make right here, Graco Forever Extensive Fit. Let's get to it. That was great. All right guys, so we're back. We're gonna start doing the install. Right now it's front facing. Of course, that's not allowed. Any child underneath 22 pounds has to be rear facing. So we're gonna turn this around right now. We'll try to get some of these. You can see the instructions right here. Of course I have the book and I'm definitely gonna read it. But let's turn around. Right here. Also, Kind of out of frame, let me turn it back around one more time. If you can see, there is a level right here that has a bubble on it. That bubble has to be on this side when you set this car seat in rear facing position or it is not in the right position. It essentially makes sure you're on level ground, so on and so forth, blah, blah, blah. Let's get to it. All right, turn this bad boy this way right now. There's six levels. There's four rear facing levels and two more uh, four facing and booster levels for this base here that pivots the car seat. So right now, we're gonna figure out how to lean it forward. And it is a latch right here that controls the recline. You just pull it out. The car seat leans forward. Oh, hey, no, 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 no. That's not it. Bruh. The recline is this gray button right here. Pull that out. Okay. There we go. Now the car seat is at two. That's the two recline. One more. And now we're at one. So now we're at the one o'clock position. Well, that's a bad call. Anyways, so we're at one. Seats in the proper position. You can't see the bubble, but I can. I'm actually gonna turn it around. Turn around. If you can see that, because I don't know if the autofocus is gonna catch it. There's a bubble here. It's all the way at this side now, so it lets me know we're in the right position as far as the seat. So we're gonna turn this back around, strap it in, and there's two ways to get this strapped in. There's a, they have these here which essentially lock on to the metal um, rods that run across behind the seats. You see it on a lot of the newer cars. So it locks it in so the, the seat won't go anywhere. We're gonna do that. In addition to that, it also allows you to put a seat belt through. Now, since this is the princess of the family, she's probably gonna get both because we don't want her going anywhere. And let's go on and do that right now. That's one. Okay. And that's two. Now, that is very loose. So we have to tighten that up. And that is where we're probably gonna introduce a fancy jump cut 
and some elevator music so I could figure out how to tighten up this thing. All right, welcome back. Little editing um, magic there. And I figured out how to um, tighten up these seat belts. There's a loop right about there. I hope you can see it. It's kind of been hidden by Elijah's other tank here. Um, and you just pull this and it tightens up the straps on both sides. And now, this car seat isn't going anywhere. The weird thing is though, the weird thing is that there's only a strap on one side, which does not make sense. But we're gonna tighten it up even more, just to make sure. Yeah, not going anywhere. Also, I'm gonna call the Audible and call my wife in real quick because uh, reading instructions isn't really my um, forte. So, we call in, a, we're gonna phone a friend. Look who it is. <laughs> she's having a baby tomorrow. She's still out here helping. Hey guys. It's Penny Queen. So what is it that you're trying to do? Oh, how to get this through? Yeah, where is it going to go? Like I see these and I think it goes, if it does, it goes all the way around. But I mean, it's strapped. It's not, the thing's not going anywhere. But I mean, if we want to double it up and add the straps as well, I don't even know if it calls for it, you know? That's kind of weird. So, we're back. And... We just need to make sure that it goes through... You... Mm, that's weird. But I guess it's... Yeah. Give me... If you, that's what I said. Give me... Give it my hand to you. I don't know who's supposed to get their hand through here. A kid? Like a baby supposed to put their own car seat in? Because this joint... Oh. Oh. Right oh. Okay. Yikes. Hold on. You feel it? No. Well, if I lose a hand today, we'll have more than one reason to go to the hospital. Oh. Jeez. I feel it. I just can't. Okay, there we go. A little bit more. You got it? Hold on. Not all the way. Hold on, hold on, Sean. Oh, oh stop it, Sean. <laughs> hold on. Alright, give me some more. Okay. That's how you ended up here in the first place. <laughs> give me some more. Alright, let it go. And right, now you gotta tighten it. You know, you gotta pull it all the way so you can't pull it no more. Alright, guys. Man, I love that can in the way it auto focuses. So, just installed the car seat. We did the latches into the seat itself with the metal rods and the attachment thingamajigs mm -hmm. and we've also used a seat belt and ran that through as well so she's double secure this car seat is going nowhere and then for an added touch just out of frame this front seat passenger seat is moving back to block her in even more also we're gonna get a mirror right here it. it's oh well looks like my wife has already picked one up um so we're going to the mirror and put that there um, so that way we can see her through the rear view. Also, um, later on in the video, we're going to take this over to the fire department, have them inspect it, make sure everything is up to par. And we'll be good to go. All right, guys, it's a short video. Hopefully, everything is like in frame. If you have any questions, just put them down in the comment section. All right.
Hey, you know, Hello. Sam, I was just trying to see if anyone was available to check to make sure our car seat was installed cor correctly. So we don't do the car seats here. Okay. If you go to the state trooper barracks. Ah. Okay. That's, yeah, that's down there in the plate of right? yeah. Oh. Right yeah. Right by Walmart. Exactly. Sweet. Thanks, sir. All right, yeah. Have a good one. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right, guys. So it looks like we won't be getting that done because um, they don't do it here at the firehouse and the firehouse is the closest we're not driving all the way to La Plata to get that done so it looks like that's gonna be a bus and we're gonna have to rely on our own recognizance <laughs> of installation I mean I believe we did pretty good we followed the instructions he did pretty good he followed the instructions and uh, from what I can tell all the bubbles line up like they're supposed to so I think we're good to go on that end. Um, um, what else? But um, I still have to go to Walmart or Target. He hates Walmart, so I guess we're going to Target. <laughs> Who else? Leave me a comment section. Leave me a message in the comment and tell me, what, what do you like best? Walmart or Target? Are you team Target or team Walmart? I'm team Walmart because Walmart is always cheaper. You always get the better deals at Walmart. Why would I want to spend more money at Target when I could just go to Walmart? Uh, I'll tell you what else comes with that cheap, with that cheaper price. <laughs> totally different crowd. Oh my god. But so we're on our way to Target to pick up the last two items. I promise I'm not going back in Target no more after these two items. I need to get the neck rest for the car seat. Um, the car seat has the little side panels, but it doesn't have the little neck thing. So since it doesn't have the neck thing, then I don't think, you know, it's enough support. We can actually go to Burlington right here. For and get both thing? of those things, yes. What's both of what things? The neck thing and the nursing p pillow. You saw that here? Yes. <laughs> okay. So check it, we don't even have to go that far. Boom, right around the okay. corner. I don't know, who going, I'm going. <laughs> oh God. Accident. Exactly. Okay. So, better yet, we're just about to stop here at this Burlington and pick up these two items. Because yeah. Burlington should have it. He hates Burlington too. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he hates all these stores. He's just like Target. I don't understand. All right, we're about to head into Burlington and pick up the last two items that I need for the baby. And this should be the end. Okay.